Hey guys, the deadline for changing tiers is coming up shortly. So I just want to have a quick chat with you and make sure that you are on the right tier because I'm frequently getting questions about, you know, I, I'm on a five, I really want a six, how can I influence my teacher to move up to the higher tier? And it's not always the best thing. You need to be on the tier that is correct for you. If we're thinking about higher tier, 40% of the marks are going to be common with the foundation tier. So it's going to be like the last two or three questions in the foundation tier are going to be pretty much the same. There might be a few tweaking issues going on, but pretty much the same as the first two or three questions on the higher tier. So if you try a higher tier paper and all you can do is the first two questions, and then maybe for the rest of the questions you're picking up one or two marks here or there, well, Maybe the foundation tier would be the better tier for you after all. There are lots and lots of reasons for this. You may think by doing the higher tier you're giving yourself a chance of doing a six, but if you sit down and you do a paper and you can only answer the first two questions out of six or the first three questions out of eight and then the rest of it you just don't get and it's really, really hard, that's a bit sad. That's it not it's not gonna be a good feeling when you come out of the exam that you know you've worked really really hard for two, three years and you've gone into the exam and you can only answer two questions. You can only answer three questions out of eight questions. That's that's not gonna be a great feeling coming out of the exam. Whereas if you'd set the foundation paper, you can still get that five on the foundation paper, but chances are you would have been able to answer the whole paper and you're gonna come out of that paper feeling positive, you're gonna come out of that paper feeling confident, you're gonna come out of that paper feeling ready to revise for the next exam. Whereas if you've come out of like biology paper one, having done loads and loads and loads of vision and you can't answer large chunks of it, well, you're not necessarily gonna feel very motivated to revise for the one a couple of days later, a chemistry paper one. It's, it's not a good feeling. And we, the examiners saw this a lot last year, where people were calling up, teachers were calling up after biology paper one saying, can we change tiers? And the answer is no. Once you've finalised your tier, once you've sat that first paper, that's it. That's the tier that you're sitting for all of the rest of the papers. You can't change tiers halfway through. You still have the chance now to change tiers, which is why I'm making this video now. So if you're aiming for a five, if you're aiming for a four, then the foundation paper is generally going to be the best paper for you. It is only if you are a really, really solid six student, if the whole way across the board you've been getting sixes, if six is your predicted grade, you're, you're a solid six student, then we should be thinking about doing the higher paper. But it's not just about challenging yourself, pushing yourself, going for those grades. We also need to be thinking about our mental health during the exam time and how sitting a paper and not being able to do it is going to affect you for the paper that you've got on Friday, the paper you've got maybe that afternoon, the paper you've got the next day. That That's not going to be a great feeling for you. So it's going to be a combination of realistically what can you get and what's going to be best for your mental health. Remember five is still a good pass in science. You're still past it. It's very, very respectable. It's the old B. So it's still a really, really good grade. You can get that on the foundation paper, but the foundation paper is going to be a lot less pressure for you and hopefully just put you in a much, much better frame of mind for going through for the rest of the exams. So there's nothing to be ashamed about about doing the foundation paper. Um, I know maybe you're going to be under pressure from parents who want to push you to do the higher paper, but um, sometimes the foundation paper really, really is the best thing for you.